close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. There's a notch in the wall. your plan I'm sort of making it up as I go but you're not talking about Garm you cannot outsmart Odin it's worked so far has it <laughs> now what I'm gonna try to tame it tame it sure I've tamed wolves before I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run him. Latch him onto something. No. Too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Ugh. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. 
Yes, sir. up on purpose, did you? No, he does not trust. Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just, I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. How? There is always a way. Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. We have the power to limit the harmless creature in cause. We will use it. Okay. Get 
it is over. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Come on, the gate's open. Let's go before it unfreezes. Ah, you are gone. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in them. I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. Ugh! <laughs> 
That is his nature. You gotta change that. Fast! It's like he doesn't have a soul to kill. Wait! You think I can stop this? How? I need you to help me get on his back. What? Trust me, please! I got this. Do it your way then. Don't you want to let? Watch out for those chocolates! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then, but... I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. 
Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? I guess it's so blossom. the gear up there. Father, if you can't trust the fates, do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. There's six stairs to close, and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. The gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong?
before. I... I chased you away. Without you? I got reckless. Overconfident. Made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sadis? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Looks like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were alive. Huh. I tried convincing you of that. But... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was on the I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. <laughs> back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. 
This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. Study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Andre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, I shouldn't have <laughs> And certainly not by undead abominations. But I reached for a shield instead of a sword. Right tried for that old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. Let me upgrade our axe for you. Can't stand to see it look. Keep her sharp, and she'll keep you alive. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. And the kid? What are you looking for? Something then. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a porch full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged, more like it. <sighs> hey. 
Hey, wait. We're with you. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Arm? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks of conviction. True. He's a bit quicker to forget. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Roar! Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell?